Hi, welcome to Conley's Cool ESL. Today, I am going to show you how to make really awesome sentences. But what does that mean? Well, by that, I mean I want to show you how you can talk about stories, movies, articles, anything that you learn in school. I want you to be able to tell other people with a lot of detail, a lot of description, and most importantly, I want you to be able to say it and write it in a way that other people will understand. To do that, I'm going to teach you IVF. Let's break it down. I means identify. When you identify, I want you to tell me, what the heck are you talking about? Are you telling me about a movie? Are you telling me about a book? Or are you telling me about an article in the newspaper? I don't know, but you need to tell me so that I understand what you're talking about. For example, if you're reading the book Freedom Walkers, you might say Freedom Walkers to start your sentence. Now I understand what you're talking about. Oh, you're talking about Freedom Walkers. You're not talking about Jurassic Park or Harry Potter. That gives readers and that gives listeners an understanding of what you're saying. Now, let's go to the next part. V. No, I'm not, I, I can't do it. I don't know, I, I can't. V means verb. What kind of verb? Well, we need a verb to tell us about this story or book or movie or article or whatever you're talking about. Here are a few examples. You can use any of those verbs to help you make your sentences. For example, you can say Freedom Walkers illustrates or the story Freedom Walkers explains, it tells us what are we going to learn about from you, the speaker or the writer. Huh? What's the last part? Hmm. F means, wait a minute, finish your thought. So you've told us what the story is or the movie or the article. You used a verb, and now you need to finish. Finish what you were going to say. How do we do that? Ah, uh, let me help you. You can finish your thought be by thinking of who, what, when, where, why, how. What are those? Oh yeah, question words. You can use question words to help you think about information to tell other people. So, you read a book. Who was in it? What happened? Why did it happen? How did it happen? Where did it happen and when? Tell us these awesome details and information and that helps readers and listeners understand you better. Now that I've explained the I, V, and F, let's do a couple examples together. All right, let's do a couple examples together of I, V, F. Uh, to start off, um, we need to what I'd like us to do first is just think a little bit about what is in the picture. So think of who, what, when, where, why, how. All right, so for who, you might say a man for what, you might say taking a photo for when you might say during the day for where hmm for where you might say in a park why hmm he thinks the park is beautiful and how with his iPad. So, 
We can take these ideas and make a sentence with them. Let's get started. When we start to make our sentence, we need to first look at I for identify the item. Did we look at a, pick a book, picture, video, map, or other document? Hmm. Well, we looked at a picture. Here I wrote the picture. Next, we need a verb. I can choose any of these shows, presents, tells, explains, or illustrates. I'm going to choose shows. Sometimes to help us make sentences, I also added that or how. It might help us make that longer sentence. You can choose one when you write your sentence. Here, let's do the F. Finish your thought. Add information by using answers next to question words. So, for who, what, when, where, why, how, let's add that information here. We can write, hmm, the picture shows how, who was in it, how a man is doing what? Oh, taking photos or taking a picture. When was it and where? Oh, during the daytime in a park. Hmm. So we did who, what, when, where, why, and how. Well, he did it because he took a picture during the day in a park because he thought it was beautiful. You could also say with his iPad because he thought it was beautiful. That's what I'll write here. Now we finished our sentence. The picture shows how a man is taking a picture during the day in a park with his iPad because he thought it was beautiful. Here we have who, what, when, where, why, and how. This is how we can make sentences with I, V, F. Let's do another example. Again, let's look at the photos. We have two pictures. Think of who, what, when, where, why, and how. First, who is in the photo? The president. What is the president doing? Oh, he's speaking. When is the president speaking? Hmm, you might know the date for it, but if you don't, we can just say during the day. Where is he doing it? What city is it? It is Washington, D.C. Let's write both of those down. Why is the president speaking? Hmm, maybe he wants to talk to the people. How is he speaking? He's using a microphone, so I will add that below. Now that we have finished who, what, when, where, why, and how, let's begin to write our sentence. Again, let's use I, V, and F to make our sentence. First, let's identify the item. What are we talking about? We're talking about pictures, so Let's write about the pictures. Here we have to delete these S's because we have the pictures. It is they. Don't worry. So let's choose one of these words for the verb. Shows, presents, tells, explains, or illustrates. Let's use illustrates. We now have the pictures illustrate, we could use how, 
And let's finish our thought using the question words from before. Who, what, when, where, why, and how. So, think of who, what, when, where, why, and how. Who was who? Aha! The president. What was he doing? Oh yes, he's speaking. When and where is the president speaking? At night or day? The president is speaking during the day. And where? In Washington, D.C. So let's write those both down. How is the president speaking? He's speaking with the microphone. Why is the president speaking? Hmm. What did we write before? Ooh, this is a long one. Because he wants to speak to the people. All right, there we go. Another example with using I, V, and F. Let's do one last example. Here we have a couple pictures. One picture is a map. The other picture is a picture of Europeans and Native Americans. Let's use who, what, when, where, why, and how to think of information that is in the documents. Who is in the document? Europeans and Native Americans are in the document. What are the Europeans and Native Americans doing? The Europeans and Native Americans are trading. When were they trading? What time period do you think? If you know history, you could say the 1500s. Or you could say during the time of the Columbian Exchange. Where were they trading? We could say they were trading in the Americas. It's North and South America. Why were they trading? They both wanted new items, new foods, new metal. Um, Native Americans wanted guns at some point. They both wanted new items. They wanted new goods. The last part is how. How did they trade? We could say that the Europeans came by ship. Now. Let's put this into a sentence. Let's get started. All right, to start off, what did we look at? Whoa! All right, what did we look at first? What is our item? Did we look at a book, picture, video, map, or other document? For this one, you could say we looked at a picture, or maybe we looked at a document. For this one, I'm going to write document. So we have document. Now we need a verb. Shows, presents, tells, explains, illustrates. I'm going to use presents. We have right now the document presents how and we need to finish our thought using the question words. For this part, I'm going to do it a little differently. I want to show you how the information can be changed or moved to different places. We do not have to go in order. We do not have to go, have to write who, what, when, where, why, how. We can move things around and I'm going to show you. The important part is that you have the same information. Let me show you. First, I would like to ask you when, when is, did this document 
talk about? What time did this document talk about? It talked about the 1500s. I'm going to start with that. I wrote, during the 1500s. Next, I want to say, how did this happen? Oh, during the 1500s, Europeans came by ship. What did they do and who did they do it with? All right. Europeans came by ship to trade with Native Americans. I don't know why I wrote a period. We're not done yet. So we've done when, who, what, and now we need where, why. Let's write this down. So, they came by ship to trade with Native Americans because in, because, a little, sorry. During the 1500s, Europeans came by ship to trade with Native Americans in the Americas because they both wanted new items. That is a way you can write an IVF. In one sentence, you can tell me so much information. I will say I did make one little mistake here. The D should be a lowercase d, like that. Anyway, that is how you can do IVF. Let's go back to the show. Now that we've watched a couple examples, let's review. Remember, I is identify. You need to tell us, what the heck are you talking about? So, the name of a story, the name of an article, the photograph, a video. Tell us what it is. People need to know. After that, we need a verb to use like explain or illustrates or shows or tells something good that will help us connect us to the F, which is finish your thought. And how do we finish our thought? Aha. Remember, question words. Who, what, when, where, why, how. They're all question words. So. Try a few examples at home, try it out with, in school, and you will be able to write really awesome sentences. Get started today. Thanks for watching Conley's Cool Yourself.